Good morning from our first day in Hanoi. We're currently walking around town. This place is unbelievably busy. I had no idea it was gonna be like this. Yeah, it's really crazy here. And it just started raining and we forgot to bring rain jackets out for the day. So hopefully it won't be too bad. But today we just have no plan. We're just gonna wander around Hanoi, get to know the city a bit and just explore. Maybe go shopping because we've seen some really cheap clothes. And just kind of walk around, see all the sights. They spelled Supreme wrong on this fake Louis Vuitton collab. When you know, this is what crossing the street in Vietnam is like. Uh. Ready? Ready. Megan is a celebrity. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Well, that was very interesting, very odd. I thought that they wanted me to take a photo of them together. And then before I knew it, they were taking selfies with me and they wanted photos. And it was very, very, very cool. I feel like a. <laughs> They've never seen blonde people before. <laughs> you know, when it's like half fake. Yeah, you're not really blonde. It is an extremely wet and rainy day and so humid. But we see like no tourists walking around. We're pretty much like the only ones, especially for this area. So we're headed back up to the lake that we started the day at because it was a little more touristy. And we just kind of want to find an area where we can walk around a window shop rather than be so residential. But it's just like sprinkling, so the rain's not too bad and it's so humid that you wouldn't really want a jacket. So it's an interesting temperature. We just got from milk tea with brown sugar and no ice because we're being smart this time. This place is called Yi Fang. They cost 61,000 each, 122 in total. And I still don't really know how to do the conversions here, so I'm just relying on my app. So we had a friend that visited Vietnam a couple months ago and she said that because she had ice here she got very sick and ill and so we're doing our best not to drink any of the water or the ice here and we're having a really hard time at this place asking for no ice. They originally gave us with ice even though we asked for no ice and now we are redoing our order um, but it's just a little complicated. We have one now with no ice and we're waiting on these seconds. All right, we now have two with no ice. We're on our way to Ha Loi Prison, which is where a lot of POWs were kept during the Vietnam War. I'm from Arizona, so my senator's John McCain, and he was kept here. I'm not entirely sure for how long, but he was definitely a POW that was kept at this prison. And so that's why Megan's really interested in going here today. Her yeah, my mom suggested go. that we go, and it's only a dollar, so I'm gonna check it out. that very interesting it was cool to see it from both perspectives having grown up learning a little bit from the American side and then seeing this from the eyes of the Vietnamese it's just always interesting to see a different perspective on the same event from both sides we are now at the Vietnamese Women's Museum it was the same price as the last place 30,000 each So we don't typically go to a lot of museums and we've already done two today. 
But when it's raining and pretty humid, it's kind of nice to be indoors and do something like that. And We're so also learning a lot of history, which is pretty cool. This is the Women's Museum, so we learned all about the woman's life here. We are now here at Hoon Kim Lake, and Megan just told me that a lot of people come to take wedding photos here. I read it online, so I'm assuming it's right. <laughs> So there's like iconic wedding shots taken at this lake. It's really beautiful. We found this little restaurant to get a very late lunch at almost 4 p.m. We both haven't really eaten much besides the free breakfast this morning, so we're gonna get food. Probably gonna get spring rolls again and then each get something. I really want to bomb me because it's been a while since I've had one, so I'm gonna try it here. Thank you. We just got the fresh spring rolls. There was the option between fried or fresh, and we chose fresh because this one has pineapple in it. It's just a vegetable one because Megan's a vegetarian. But they look very good, and I think it was under a dollar, right? Or yeah. a little over a dollar? A little over a dollar. For six spring rolls, so pretty good. Megan got a seafood fried noodle dish. Looks really good. I love how green it looks. I'm very excited. Yeah, I feel like this is like a very Americanized banh mi. This is my banh mi. They said the bread is made fresh daily. the water puppet show tonight in about half an hour. It's apparently a really big thing to do here in Vietnam. And we wanted to get it for an hour beforehand and they were sold out and so we had to buy it like three hours in advance. So it that's seems really popular. Good note to know. <laughs> I'm not sure what to expect but I think that it's a water puppet show means that they're in water and they just have the puppets dancing along the surface. Yeah. the puppet show and I loved it so much it was really cool my favorite part is when there were dragons and fire was yeah, coming out of their really mouth cool. that was like the second scene and it was so cool the puppet masters were actually like standing in the water the whole time behind a sheet I was trying to record them on my phone I don't know if that will be added because we weren't allowed to use the camera here yeah but like everybody was using their phones it was really weird it felt like a concert but we were sitting inside like a big hall and the lights were down, but everyone was just talking and using their phones to record. Also, here's some footage of people burning garbage in the street because apparently that's what they do here. Earlier today, we saw someone burning shoes. Like, so odd. Like leather shoes and plastic bags and yeah, all kinds of stuff that should not be burning. But we're heading back to the hotel now. We're gonna have to go back and get a room switched because they were moving us to a different room today. And then tomorrow, we're gonna wake up really early and go to the Ho Chi Minh Memorial. So she said to get there around 7.30 in the morning, so we gotta get a really early start, so we're probably gonna go to bed soon. Soon. 